The Mississippi Adequate Education Program is once again a hot topic for state lawmakers. State senators will vote Monday on a new funding formula for public schools. They will be voting on House Bill 957. Senator Hob Bryan joins us in the studio today with his take on the legislation. Senator, thanks so much for being here. Thank you, Andrea. Happy to be uh, here. Let's first talk about uh, your feelings about this uh, piece of legislation. Well, the existing law. Uh, determines how much schools actually need to provide the education that we're requiring them to provide under state law. Then it breaks that down between the state and the local uh, taxpayers. The local taxpayers have been keeping their end of the bargain. They've been paying what they're supposed to pay, but the folks at the state level have been falling short. The legislature proposes to underfund public education $200 million this year. Are there any, and I apologize for interrupting, are there any specific points um, that you oppose? I mean, specifically the, th the things you can point out to us. Well, the whole attempt to change this formula is not being generated by anybody at home. It's not being generated by the schools. The schools aren't in favor of this. Nobody ran for public office saying he was going to, Re repeal the school funding formula and replace it with a stingy formula. This is all being done by a group of politicians under the Capitol Dome who are tired of the taxpayers holding them accountable for failure to fund public education. So they have this scheme just to re change the formula so that the schools will be entitled to whatever the whim of the legislature is. It's just not right. And they're doing it all in secret. Nobody understands their new formula. Nobody knows what they're doing. They, they're terrified that anybody publicly will be involved. We've got about 30 seconds. You've talked to educators. What are educators in your district saying to you about this? The, the taxpayers and the educators expect those of us who go to Jackson to do what we said we would do when we campaigned. Think back to 2015. Nobody was running ads saying, I'm going to change the law to reduce funding for public schools. Nobody was running ads saying, I'm going to go to Jackson and do what Speaker Gunn tells me to do. They were running ads saying they were going to support public education. All I want the people to do is to do in 2018 and vote in 2018 with the people at home, vote like they said they were going to do back when they were campaigning for public office. All right, well, we certainly will continue to watch this, uh, especially on Monday and throughout the rest of the session. Senator Hobbryan, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you, Andrea.